Coming right up, but first, there's been a flurry of new UFO sightings in the town that has become known for its close encounters. There is so much strange activity in the skies above Roswell, New Mexico, that the whole town is out capturing the sightings on tape. Doug Bruckner has the incredible video. Ooh, I got one. All right. 522, straight up. A family pointed a home video camera into the once empty New Mexico skies and recorded these incredible pictures. But what are we looking at? An optical illusion or an extraterrestrial traffic jam? We have the proof that people have wanted to see that there are UFOs out there. Jose and his family have captured hundreds of unidentified images. Jose's sister Becky scans the skies daily, and brother Manuel is also in charge of capturing the skybound images when they appear. Most of the objects come directly overhead. They either come, they can come from any direction. This object looks to be the silhouette of a helicopter. Mysteriously, it transforms itself into a silvery domed object and hovers in mid-air. There are cases that have been reported within the uh, field of people seeing helicopters that take on a disc-shaped form. In lonely Roswell, hundreds of miles from the nearest big city, you can understand why the eerie light shows make people nervous. But isolation's not the only reason for citizens being on edge. There's a haunting incident from nearly half a century ago. Roswell in 1947 underwent some type of uh, event that to this day has not been satisfactorily answered. There was wreckage and a sensational story that the military actually recovered the remains of dead aliens. There were early official reports about a flying saucer crash, but they were revised to say it was just a weather balloon. But many UFO experts believe the Roswell incident has never been explained away. This year, a local senator demanded an explanation and got the same old story with a new twist. It was a top-secret weather balloon used to monitor Soviet nuclear tests. Now, I firmly believe that that involved a craft not of this world, and I do believe that there were biological entities that were recovered as a result of that crash. But these new sightings have left some townspeople with a scary thought. Now that strange things seem to be happening again, could this mean Roswell is some sort of magnet for alien beings? Look at that one taking off. You see it? For over six months, the objects have been appearing in the Escamillas viewfinder, many at breakneck speed, nearly impossible to see with the naked eye. At times, they just flash, filling the sky with speckles of strobing light. And when they get close, watch out. Here, a myriad of UFOs appear in a chaotic jumble, and unexplainably, the camera shuts off. There was a huge amount of flashes in front of me. And I saw something pass by and my camera shut off. I couldn't start my camera up again. Many of the objects, however, show themselves for a long period of time, up to 18 minutes, such as this one sighted on Memorial Day. It seems to be hovering, but look at the moon. Whatever it is, it's definitely moving. There appears to be some type of object that is involved that once again would not conform to any known experimental or conventional type aircraft that we know of today. This white UFO makes a sudden move to the left, only to be lost behind a tree. Others continue to creep around the daytime sky, revealing little about what they could be or their place of origin. I see them usually over here or over there. And uh, I see them sometimes that, like, over there in the field. But sometimes when I fly my kite and stuff, I can see them. They're just everywhere. And even the littlest witnesses don't question that something is up there. You did have a weird feeling of a sense, a sense of a presence of, uh, of like, the presence of an angel or something very powerful. Whatever they are is truly one of the great mysteries of our time. And for as long as these UFOs keep showing up over Roswell, 
The Escamillas will be there to catch them on video. Oh, there's one. According to the Escamilla family, they have even seen the UFOs buzz commercial airliners at near supersonic speeds. Now the OJ.